This was a requested tutorial. If you haven't used the video sequence editor in Blender, I've made a beginner tutorial that you may want to watch first. I'm going to be responding directly to the request for this tutorial as best I can. I'm not a video editor, so this will be very rudimentary. As for the proxies, there's no need to worry about these since they're no longer supported in Blender. Scenes are essentially collections of objects that are a way to organize your work. You can add or delete as many scenes as you wish. Linking is done in Blender for many reasons, such as materials and modifiers. However, what is specifically being asked about is the linking of objects between scenes. First, let's learn how to link a character into our main Blender file. This can be done via File, Link, Collection. For me, it'll be ch-snow. The link to this character is in the description. In order to be able to pose the character, go to Object, Relations, Make Library Override. I can rename my collection to Snow so I know what is in that collection. I've already made some very simple objects that I'll also import into the scene and add to other collections. I can select the object I want to move and use the M key to move them to other collections. I'll also make sure I have a camera in the scene. I'm going to split the outliner into two separate areas so I can open the scene menu. I'll rename my current scene to Assets. This will just contain everything I need but won't be used in the actual video. I'll move Snow into position. I can now add a new scene, which I will name Scene01. To bring any objects from my main scene into this current scene, I use Shift-A and choose Collection Instance. If I make any changes to an object instance, it will change across all the scenes. For this example, I'll go back to the Asset scene and select the mug. In Edit Mode, I'll change it to a more realistic scale. In object mode, I'll apply the scale. When I go back to my scene 01, notice that the mug is now smaller. Back on scene 01, I will add a camera and set up the shot. I open the dope sheet and select the camera in scene 01. On frame 1, I add a key for location, rotation, and scale. I'll make a second new scene. I can now import the objects from the collection
and this time snow will be in the same starting position. I now add a second camera. I'll set up the shot. and use Control alt numpad 0 to set the camera to the current view. On frame 15, I add keyframes for location, rotation, and scale. I repeat this process for a third scene. Once I have the camera in place, I'll add keyframes on frame 30. I select the asset scene, add a new workspace, and open the video editing space. Now please note, each scene has its own editing space, which means if I had scene 01 selected, and open the video sequencer. I'd only be able to add the assets scene two and scene three. With the assets scene selected, I go to the add menu and add each of the three scenes as strips. Please refer to my previous video sequence tutorial for usage of the video editor. If I need to make an edit to one of the scenes, I can do so and then re-import the scene into the video editor. For example, if I go to scene 02 and move the mug and laptop, I then reselect the asset scene and in the video editor, delete the scene 02 strip and add the new scene 02 strip into the channel. I hope this answered your questions.